and we're live. <laughs> Good afternoon, YouTube. Another bright and sunny day in Cheshire. What's going on? <laughs> it's absolutely cracking the flags. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So we've had. Um, should have been live an hour ago. Um, had a little bit of an issue with software and stuff like that. But uh, we're, we're here now. We're ready to go. I've got my mate's t-shirt on, Corey from SNA Autos. So if you're not a subscriber to his channel, get yourself over there and uh, give him a, give him a, a subscribe and a thumbs up. <laughs> hey, up, Carl? How are you, mate? <laughs> so, prompted by um, all the all the, the scope stuff I've done over the last few days. Hey, up, Keith? How are you, mate? You all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only ever only ever happened live, but that's okay. We can we can roll with that. So prompted by uh, discussion from over the last couple of days about the new Pico and the e-scope and all that, I've been getting a lot of private messages. People saying, "Well, I've only got this scope and I've only got that scope." Hey, up, George. Um, how can I do um, what you do with what I've got? And the answer is, you use what you've got. So. To, to really really emphasize that point over to the car now you can see here I've got me Bosch hey up Steve how are you hey up no sleep hey up George I've got me Bosch KTS 590 plugged into the DLC not hardwired connected via Bluetooth to me to me Bosch software oh look at that oh, that's terrible let's see if we can if that's any better so we're connected by a Bluetooth to my PC and what I want to do is use the, the inbuilt scope on the KTS that's right mate learn what you've got <laughs> hey up Emery you're awesome so on the KTS on on the the bit where the DLC cable goes in you can see we've got channel 1 channel 2 we've got a two channel scope there you'll see the yellow and the red are the positives and the blue and the black are negatives all right so so it's just the same literally there's one channel and there's the other channel hey up dylan how are you mate <laughs> so there's there's absolutely no difference between using the 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 kts scope than there is using any other scope we just we just connect exactly the same so the yellow and the red will go to the signals that we're testing and the black and the blue will go to a ground either a body or a battery ground or whatever okay so your kts leads you're just two long leads with a yellow and blue on either end connectivity dead easy you put the yellow in the yellow the blue in the blue like so and then another lead, we put the red in the red and the black in the black. Can't be any easier than that unless you're trying to do it one handed. So they're in there, that's the business end plugged in. Follow the wires down all the way and you can see this end we've got yellow connected to a test probe, black connected to a ground red to a test probe black to a ground so you'll also also notice there's a limitation with the bosch leads yeah they're very very they've got a, a they, they snag together there okay, so you can either split your leads or you can do what i've done you set a separate ground up just on the door pillar so i've just got a normal wire with a crocodile on either end and i'm all, all i'm going to do All I'm going to do is join them together. Just bear with me one second. Black to black. Put you down for a second. SM, good afternoon. So you can see there now all I've done, I've got my ground lead and I've put the two black crocodiles on there. And that leaves me then with me two, me two test probes ready to do business. 
okay and that's 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 all there is to it so to use it hey up Ross how are you mate <laughs> hey up Dylan right so to use my skull we go up to the top right hand corner click on that and then where it says oscilloscope click on that and that opens our scope up now we're actually using now a bluetooth scope believe it or not so your scope can actually be in the you know your your um your, your thing can be in the car hey up max how are you <laughs> and your laptop can be somewhere else so it's all by bluetooth now teaching's easy keith you just talk mate talk nice and slow so there we go so you can see we've got a signal one on signal two on if i if i only want one channel i can just touch that and turn signal two off signal two on right at the moment you can see it says peak to peak signal one auto level that's a trigger set okay well we don't want a trigger so we just put it on normal manual Come on, focus, focus, and you can also see the Bosch puts my zero line halfway up my screen. Yep, and all I want to do is just drop that down. I'm looking out the viewfinder here, so all I'm doing, I'm dropping my zero line down to there so I can see it. And the same on this side. I'm going to drop this one down a bit lower for channel 2 there we go so we've got my two zero lines set up the first thing I want to do is test my test equipment <coughs> so I want to make sure I can find a 12 volt so key ignition, ignition on and all I'm going to do now is look for 12 volts What's the easiest way I can what's the easiest way I can do to to find 12 volts? Any idea? Any ideas? Well we can look at a wiring diagram or we can basically go into our this is our switch pack. So this is Windows Central Locking. We can go into pin 16, but the problem is I've got me my KTS powered up from pin 16, so I can't do that. I can go to my battery, or with my ignition on, I'm bound to have power on one of these wires, aren't I? All right, and if it's carrying power, chances are it'll be a big, thick wire. So let's just get one probe and we'll just run down down the wires until we get power one of them must have power going through them all the time he says and they don't swap over so I've got me my better hand on the job one of these must have power going to him nothing there there we go right so I'm in the I'm in the blue wire there you can see Uber, bald, how are you mate? You alright? So we'll just get that stuck in there permanently if we can. It's not staying in. It's not staying in. 
there we go she's in now all right so we can see that and then what we can also what we can also do is change the screen time all right we don't want it on 100 milliseconds so let's just put it up to what it is just stick it up to a thousand milliseconds Is that not in there? There we go. Probe would fall out again. Probe would fall out again. Alright, so that's that's channel one. That's, that's, that's channel one and it's live now. So what we can do, what I want to do, is I want to have a look at the voltage going to this window motor in this door. Okay, so I know my scope's okay. So all, literally all I'm going to do, I'm going to put one one probe in that wire and then my red probe here I'm going to shove in the other one alright so I'm looking at two channels at the same time looking at my screen I'm going to go down with my window and then up with my window pause it <laughs> Pause it and then go back. And there we go. That's as easy, that's as easy or as difficult as it gets. So you can see there one wire. So channel two in red, um, which is on the black wire. When I went when I went up, uh, when I went down it went live, and then channel one. On the grey wire, it went live on the up. So it's literally, it's that easy with the Bosch scope. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed that. that was, so that's how to use two channels on the Bosch. What we've also got, as another thing on the Bosch, right, we can actually, we can actually do it on the pins, or we can do it and why is that crashed why is that crashed all of a sudden all oh, right I know I see I turned it off didn't I all right so we can either do it as a normal scope or we can actually scope the DLC we've got we've got amps and all that there we've got all little different things AC, DC, all that sort of stuff. Time bases. We can turn the channels on or off. And we can actually, if we go into here, so top right again, so I clicked on that button, I can actually go onto my pins. Uh, and then I can choose which pin I use. So if I want to check my power at pin 16, Why is it not giving me pin 16? Pin 1 We've no pin 16 on here That's no good What have we got on pin 7? Why's that not got? Why has it not got pin? Well, it must. To be honest, they don't need to, do you? Yeah, yeah. So what we're actually got here on the on the Bosch scope, we can actually we we can actually look at, at that. So if we wanted to go to six and fourteen, if there's can on on this vehicle, we can go to six and fourteen. Yeah, and then all I have to do is bring my time base down. So there's my can signal. 
whenever I want to obviously I can change my voltage scale so I can put it on a 5 volt scale so I can actually scope my can straight straight from the from the diagnostic tool without even connecting it up but it won't let me do pin 16 how cool is that is that not cool that so there's me so literally that's that scoping straight from Pin 16 through the module, no wires. So I can see my can at the DLC. I can even slow it down a little bit more if I want. Yeah, Keith's doing the free, um, he's doing the, uh, the Opus webinar tomorrow. The Honda one. I can't wait for that, it's pretty cool. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, 16 minute rambling, if you did, don't forget to hit subscribe, notification bell and uh, a thumb, thumbs up would be awesome, if you could give us a thumbs up, that would be really really good. <laughs>